on Friday the 13th of October 2017, Harbor Freight had a parking lot sale from the 13th, 14th to Sunday the 15th. And they were selling the two ton engine shop crane cherry picker, whatever you want to call it, for $169.99. That is the cheapest they have ever sold this that I'm aware of. They sell it for $179 quite often and whatever their regular price is. Um, you know, I didn't bother to check to see if 25% off of their regular price is actually cheaper than this. Because if so, I screwed up. Well, that's going to bother me now. I'll have to check that out later. I normally do that. I always check to see if 25% off is a better deal. And I'm pretty sure you can use 25% off on this. Maybe you can't. Uh, and I always go online to see if they'll accept the coupon. You used to be able to get away with it in person because if the cashier didn't know what they were doing, you could get by or, you know, if you kind of like knew them, they'd be like, I'd let you, I'll let you go through on it. Um, especially if you bought a lot of stuff from them. Like me, as you can see, I own almost one of everything and not all of my Harbor Freight tools are in this room or at this property location. A lot of my Harbor Freight stuff is still at the shop. I got sandblaster, sandblasting cabinet, engine hoist, I should say engine uh, mount, and uh, I, tire changer, a uh, bunch of other stuff. But today, I am going to put this together. That's the plan. Anyway. Now looky here, man. They sure do make it easy on you this time. This is my one ton folding shop crane. And I need two. That's what I told myself when I bought it. I need one for here, and I need one for back at the shop so I can lift things up, put them down on the trailer, haul them over here, and then pick them back up. Now, some of you would be saying, well, why didn't you just get the gantry crane? And I would be, you're extremely smart, sir. I wanted the gantry crane. Problem is, that sucker weighs like, I think, 700 something pounds, and the height is taller than my garage door opening. You know what I just realized? I could have tipped it down, brought it in, and then possibly stood it up. My ceiling height, all the way in the back, I believe is 113 inches, and the floor has a slope. So as you get out here, I believe it's 116 inches. I, uh, it would be a tight fit. And, uh, the other thing I realized is I needed a gantry crane to assemble the gantry crane. So I passed on that. It would also take up a large footprint too. And that sucker would be coming out here where I'd be tripping over it all the time. And uh, I really don't think I could probably tip it up because I think it just would barely clear the ceiling from the height. But I digress. So instead, I picked this up. And when I assembled that, I had problems with it. I could not get these on there. I ended up having to bend them just in order to get them to fit. And I don't know what I did wrong. Uh, one thing that I would probably do differently is I wouldn't bolt those all the way down or I would use longer bolts in order to bring it down in. But uh, it just wouldn't work. So that's going to be one of the first things that I do when I assemble it this time. Um, second thing. Cause first thing is putting these wheels on. And boy, are these wheels a pain in the butt. Whew. 
huge pain. I have to say that uh, the welds are decent on here, but the paint job is spectacular. This is uh, the best paint job I've seen, probably. This looks really thick, man. Somebody probably got a beating or fired for putting too much paint on this. What a waste, they were thinking. Oh my god, these are threaded in now? Wow. You know how much easier this makes life? Oh man, the people who owned the previous one, if they're watching this, I know you hate me. Because I don't have to go through anywhere near the trouble you go through, or had to go through, in order to attach these wheels. Uh, these guys are not the same either. Am I missing two wheels? I must be. Must be in the other package. Little ones go in the right here little ones here big ones here so i should probably put loctite on these things but they have a locking washer so we'll go with that what do you think that is 14 hey look at that 14, come on out there. Use a Harbor, well actually this is a Craftsman socket on a Harbor Freight ratchet from a Harbor Freight toolbox to assemble a Harbor Freight shopping crane, shop crane, on top of a Harbor Freight trailer, which is above a Harbor Freight scissor lift, pretty much a Harbor Freight household. Harbor Freight sells it, I probably own it. Matter of fact, I may even own two of them. Mm, I think I'd like an extension. Lowe's is supposed to be carrying Craftsman tools here pretty soon. And when they do, if they do exchanges, I'll be asking for an exchange on that bad boy. Right there. Grandfather broke it when he was trying to take off his wheel locks on his 2005 Civic Special Edition. And I just gave him mine. Told him I would take that and exchange it and get a new one. And uh, haven't done it yet. This is going to be easy peasy. Boy, you know, the Chinese are like the Japanese. Or the Chinese of today are like the Japanese of yesterday. They are constantly improving. Probably subscribe to the Deming Circle, where they're always getting better. 
and quality products pretty soon. They're going to be, I mean, they're already competing. I mean, they're, they're not even competing with us. It's the fact that we can't even make a honest day's pay anymore. They make things so cheap now that repairing them is a laugh. It's too expensive. You just replace it, you throw it away. Uh, and that's not going to change until China has a revolution. We have a revolution. And if either one of those happens, all they're going to do is find the next country to exploit. India, uh, some of the stands. Mexico, currently exploiting Mexico. Uh, hopefully the people at the top have an end game here. They sure are putting the squeeze on America. And Americans. Alrighty now. Oh, shucky darn. This is where it's going to be a pain in the butt. Right here. Putting these on. I spoke way too soon. Das German? Yeah. No, that's Spanish. Getting this thing dirty. Not something I want to do. Nine. Uh. Now I think I'll grab my one of like 40 plus. Magnetic trays. never bought well I bought this tray and I bought a craftsman tray and actually when I was transporting that other shop crane it fell on the back of the U-Haul and just happened to crush the only tray that wasn't Harbor Freight it was craftsman damaged it pretty sure I still have it Riveting watching me cut these things out. I know. I am sure you've already fast forwarded. I'm not into editing yet, so I would make life a lot easier on you if I was by just doing a speed shot through all this. Uh oh. Probably should leave those the way they were. Those are unique bolts. That tell me exactly where they should be going. I hope. Uh, M16, that's definitely fatter than that. So, yeah, that looks right. Okay. So, what do we have here? 
probably have some nuts that go on to here. How many do we have? We would have four, we have 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yet we only have eight. So maybe the hardware for this guy is in there along with the wheels. So let, ooh, something in there is magnetic. What are the odds? Oh. Probably not my finest idea of the day. Should probably have jack stands on this thing. Oh, this is where it's going to be a pain. Oh, I got small hands, luckily. So this isn't too big a deal. I'm going to have to get a wrench down in there probably, though. Or, you know what I could do is... Nah, I'll just get a wrench. I was going to say I could get the, uh, the electric screwdriver and just zip that thing on there. Oh, what do you think that is? A 14 or a 12? 14. Oh, let me use... Let's try this guy here. if that's in there or not. All right. We're going to go with a longer extension. We may end up going with this guy here. Another Harbor Freight. What we got here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fourteen. Oops. I'm really starting to regret not getting the electric at this point. This would make it a lot quicker. I'm really tempted to go do it. Going. That's part of the reason right there. All right. this is the right way. Gravity would keep it down. Yeah, I think this is probably the best way to do it. It's the opposite of that, though. But, oh well. Uh, I'm going to put the camera down. And, uh, I'm going to go get my electric drill.
I got one drill and uh, two batteries. I got the drill because the impact, if you pay close attention to it, especially if you're in the sunlight, you'll see metal shavings. They'll be, the impact just chips it, hammers it. This guy just torques it. And you have to be careful because when it catches, it catches. I'm going to use uh, one of these guys. Oh, God. The, God. What am I getting my hands into? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I suppose we could do it like that. hurt my ear. That's the way to do it. Would never have gotten that done that quickly. With the other method. Ooh. Need the wheel. Mm, really need uh, a jack stand at this point because my weight on this trailer is going to tip it back. Well, maybe not because this thing's on it right now, but at any other any other time it would have done it. extra nut and uh I'm missing no no that's not a nut at all that's a walking wash we're good on it. It doesn't feel like I'm on it. But... Probably torque all those down later. Alright. 
So this guy is complete. Hopefully that was under 10 minutes. Or right at it. Man, that sucker looks good. Oh no. <laughs> yep, that's wrong. So that pays the redirections. Torque these down real hard. Go ahead and turn this on there. Full power. Okay, now we get to do it this way. And I can see why this is a pain in the butt. God, you're going to want like your kid to do this for you. you know, that's a good thing about me being the size I am. You know, not as tall as I should be or I'd like to be, but sometimes situations like well maybe not like this <laughs> I was gonna say it pays off but one thing is I'm losing dexterity with these gloves oh, man. well I think I'm just gonna spin this from the top it's gonna be the easiest just get it close oh why does it feel like you're cross threading on there bud Because you were. Maybe it'll just spin these things fast and they'll just grip and bite too. I only have to do four this way. Ah. My hand's already getting hot and sweaty. Oh man. Oh. Oh, this one's bad. This one's. Why is this one so much worse? You know what? Let's use the other hand. If uh, I got the other one easy with that hand, logic would say that this would be the hand to use on this side, right? Yes, yes it would. The brain it is working somewhat. There we go. These are home free here. Don't make a liar out of me. Are you mocking me? Mocking you, sir? No. no I'm not. We'll explain your attire. My cousin Vinny seen when he when Joe Pesci walks into uh, Frankenstein dude from the Munsters. I believe that was his last film before he passed away. Uh, his uh, suit <laughs> going to the cleaners his girlfriend thought it'd be a good idea to have it dry cleaned when they slept out in the car in the mud they ended up getting stuck and he's trying to get the jack out he slings <laughs> his suit right out in the mud so he's got to get a replacement and the cleaners are sick out with the flu and so he either wears the leather jacket, which he knows he hates, or he wears this ridiculous outfit for him. It was like a 
a circus suit. And uh, <laughs> one of the best scenes in the movie. Every scene in that movie was amazing. That is one of my favorite movies, My Cousin Vinny. Absolutely hilarious. If you haven't seen it, man, you are missing out. I can't imagine how that's not a classic. Okay, so I'm going to use this hand for this side. Uh. I'm showing you what to do and what not to do and why you shouldn't do it. So, I should be more than entertaining. This is what happens when you decide not to read directions because you think you're going to save time and cut corners. When in fact, unless you've got uh, a lot of experience of assembling these things, it's best to read the instructions. However, if you recall earlier in the video, I did point out about how this was opposite of that. And I thought, well, what the hell, what could go wrong? What I should have done was, let me test it. And when that didn't spin freely, I would have known. Well, shucky darn, that's an issue. Clearly, I've got that backwards. Let me go ahead and remedy that, but nope. I said, let me go ahead and get an electric screwdriver, electric drill, and uh, go ahead and zip these bad boys on because why have a power tool and give up a good opportunity of using it? That would seem senseless. Defeats the purpose. You have to justify owning these tools, and well, this seemed like a good place to start in justifying. Get that going the right way. Put it down to where it's going to strip out. Not going to rip my, yank my arm off here. There's one, two, three. And the last one. Now, let's see what kind of results we can get with this setup. Should be much better than having it the wrong way. Really have to push those drawers in to get them to lock. I guess that's a good thing because it's a tight fit. But. Now we're talking. Making progress. scuffage on there half ton one ton one and a half ton two ton what does this one read this one reads quarter half three quarter one pretty sure I did not use that thing properly 
but oh well. This one, uh, you know, this thing does not look like it is thicker tubing. Oh my god, dude. These things used to be made with thicker, thicker tubing. I don't know where anything's at. We're at like one point, probably two five, eighth of an inch. Oh my god. It's the same thing. This used to be thicker, I swear, because I remember looking at the difference between this one. They must have figured out that they don't need it to be thicker at certain points. Oh man, there's a good scuff. Dang it. I have to put a little paint on that because that's going to rust or grease. Either one, I don't really care. Well, that is upsetting. I bought this specifically because I thought it was thicker steel. Oh. The Ram is an eight ton. Mine is, uh, I don't know, what is mine, three? Three ton. Oh. Okay. Now we should probably refer to the instructions. I think we've already made enough mistakes. One's enough. We're gonna have to do the woman thing here. We're gonna have to resort. To, oh, good, they got pictures. We don't even have to read, my friend. We got this in the back. All right, let's see, what do we do first? I'm gonna put the legs on first. Seems easy enough. Uh, wouldn't you put the wheels on before you put the legs on? Boy, these, these instructions are horrible. I'm gonna go back to the man thing. Hey, look at that. They did my job for me. I'll go back to the woman thing. They already got the wheels on there. Oh, oh I'm gonna want some gloves on. I can see myself cutting my hand wide open. That would not be not be fun. These aren't the best of gloves for that. Black ones are in the house. They're thicker. They are much better gloves. I ought to double bag these, but that's okay. I like to live dangerously. Oh. Pittsburgh on the outside. I'm going to put it right here. Austin Danger Powers. I too like to live dangerously. Oh, that doesn't look so nice. Have it your way. We'll call it a draw. All the same. Actually, we need all four of these for the legs. 
Those are thin pins, man. Those are thinner than the pins on my other one. I put these on the inside, if I remember correctly. Well now. The other thing is that these pins do not line up. So what I have learned of doing without wrecking my back is to use this guy right here. Put him right underneath here as a wedge, as a lever. It used to work. Don't know why it's not working now. Wow, well now, i got to tell you, I'm not too fond of that. Because I cannot lift that whole assembly up once everything's on here. in for whatever reason. Not a fan of these pins. They frighten me. Okay. What we got next? Got the upper beam. Yeah. I think I'd rather do the crossbars. They go from the inside, which uh, they also show there, inside up to the top. They also have a hand bar on the back, which is nice. Uh, so where are those at? Right there. And actually, I believe they go right through with this guy too. Uh, I don't know that there is a top or bottom to these. I think the angle is probably about the same. Maybe not. There's a longer... Oh, let's measure these. Because that may have been my problem last time, but I doubt it. Because uh, it should be the same distance. There's my gloves. Right there. A couple of tape measures here. Oop. Well, this tape measures. This tape measures seem better days. That's no good. Get rid of him. Luckily, he's free. Easily replaceable, too. About two and a quarter. This one here. About two and a quarter. Maybe a little more. So. We're going to have these down here, and they're going to bend up that way. So you know, this one like this, and this one like that. Mm. Now what hardware am I going to use for that? I'm going to use the number 15 bolt 
nut and washer. There we go. The bends of the supports face out at the top and in at the bottom as shown above. Oh man, that's a much better photo than what they had before on my last manual. Number 15, huh? Hmm. I don't know what that means. These are all M16s. What's the number 15 here? 15 is 16 by 100. These two. Okay. Take these guys. I would like to have seen 15 on here. No locking washers. Just washers and nuts. Uh, nut and washers. Yep. So bolts face in. So we're going to have this guy do that. This guy do that. And something wrong here. There's a burr somewhere. Fourteen by one hundred. And these are the fourteen by one hundreds. And that would be for this guy there. Lean it up against my leg. Prevent it from... Oh, not all these nuts are created equal. We have a problem here. It would make sense since these were 14s and not 16s. Good God, do we have something different again? through here support not shown handle 
they don't tell you what bolt that is for D. That's number 16. 16 is the 110. 16 by 110. Oof. Yep, running into the same problem I did before. Actually, this one's not as bad though. Good God. that sucker really loose pretty sure that was my st mistake last time mm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put on hearing protection find out what kind of sockets we need Uh, I need to hear what's going on. I'll probably be shouting a little bit from this point on, but I don't even know how much time we have left on here. Uh, it's probably going to definitely be a part two. Battery's going to die. Is there a Yep, my battery's about to die. I think now's a good time to go ahead and uh, take a break and figure out the rest of the stuff. So we'll go to a part two at this point. All right, this is gonna be part two. And hopefully there won't be a part three. This will be the end of it. So uh, we have this together. Need to tighten those down, and uh, I don't even really need to tighten this stuff down. I just need to assemble it. After that, man, most of this already comes assembled. Hell, I probably didn't even need a part two, man. Look at that. Oh well, I didn't know if the battery was gonna die on me. So this guy here is number sixteen. Number sixteen is this guy here. 16 and 110. Yep. This guy and a washer. These different size washers, man. Oh man, I hope I didn't put the wrong washer on there. 
So 14, 16, 16. Pretty sure I used the wrong washers. We're gonna have to change those out. We got one 14 left. The other 14s, I think went through here at the bottom, number eights, yeah. So I'm pretty sure these are the wrong washers that are on here. Fix that problem. Goes with those. Okay. So now this is going to go through this guy right here, and I believe that's the next step. So. That was not the way to do that. He is very skinny too. So, that is some hard ass concrete. Thank God. Even though we got some pretty good cracking going on. Uh, Washer and a nut. So there should have been a pin in that. I wasn't paying attention. And heck, I don't even see any pins left. But I'll figure that out in a second. Ah, uh, boom. Now we've got the jack. At the bottom, it's going to use a number 20. Number 20 is a 16 by 90. Which is this guy. This goes at the bottom. Hmm. God, you know, I think you should put this on last. Think, uh, I don't think that's such a great idea. Mm -hmm. Have to be facing this way, That'd be the most logical. I don't even know which one I just used there. Number 11 at the top. Well, it's definitely not that one. Which one is this? It's a 
116 by 110. This is a number 16 by 110 is number 15. That's supposed to go with the bottom. Jesus, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Did I do this wrong? God, this is a horrible video. It's so a number 15 volt. What the heck do I have in there right now? I'm gonna go get my calipers. That's the problem with taking a break because your batteries died. It's also a problem that you don't read the directions prior. To installing it, we're going to go on millimeters and uh, Oops. That's definitely 110. Okay. So those should be in the bottom down here, these guys. What do I have down here? I have a whole lot less than 110. I've got uh Hundred is what I have. Sixteen by one hundred. That's a number fifteen. That's right. Jesus, what the hell's wrong with me? That's a number sixteen. I don't know where the hell that thing came from. Maybe it goes uh, in the top. I'm not going to worry about it at this point. I'll find it when I'm missing something. So, put this back in here. Alright, so, at the bottom, we want a number 20. And a number 20 is a 16 by 90. So, what do we have here? We have 16 by 90. That one's right. In the top, we want a number 11. A number 11 is a 16 by 80. That's this guy right here. Yep. All right. 
This is going to go on the top. And this is my guy right here. Well, before I can put that in there, maybe that's my guy. What's the guy that goes there? He's a number 16. That's where my guy came from. All right. So, now we're going to put this guy in. Gonna warm from this side, I think. Even though I got that guy there already. Just when I took a break, started to second guess myself. Uh. I need to pump him up. Pump it. Pump it up. I said pump it. Chris Rock pumping up some. Fake Reebok pumps on Starry Night Live back in the early 90s. Deal with that later. Wow, they weren't joking, man. A little bit of pumping, and you're not going very far. try to put this in here without banging it all up. They assemble, they assemble a lot of this stuff for you. Ouch. Because when I bought mine, this was uh, not assembled, I don't believe. The wheels weren't on these. Uh, I mean, granted, this is different. I don't know how their one ton is, but I imagine they did the same thing. He's kind of scratched up. All right. Where is the pin? To lock that guy. Is it this guy here? He's the only guy left. They don't give you a damn pin. Seriously? Number 32, sure enough. I guess uh, they want you to be extra safe. 32 is a 14 by 90. 